Well, off we go. Just great. Right. With your flames and my technique? We're stronger together than we are apart. Should we really take this? Hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? 
It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. Hey, Rinwell. Do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing! Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. I'm also good with air points. Free Lancer, dance in the wind! Air points! I've got magic and spell marksman handle! All yours! Thanks, Shia. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. Do that. Purge Malevolent! My fists are crushing it out there! What? Right. Hmm. Anyway. <sighs> Got it. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm. Okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kinda on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs, and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die, then. I've noticed that sometimes, we come across enemies who fight like you, and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys! I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. 
Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth elemental beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Dohalim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. I won't forgive you! Go Tide Flash! Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! Roger, Roger! Here! Burning strike! An astral no That's my cue! Shut him down! Here comes the enemy! 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 Here comes the one final push. Let's do this together. Hold on to your arms. Here I come. Do it. You get the gift. Sleep now. This ends now. Here I come. 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 This should be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara. It's so big. You're, you're talking about my shield, right? I'll take you all off. Here, where are you going? Here I come. Right yes, the 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 Get on in there with the This arm. one keeps uh, charging us. That's what my shield is. I'm ready. Is. Get behind me. Good. I'll leave it to you. Sorry. My fists are crushing it out there! Try? Uh, no, no. A little unrefined for my taste. That's how you judge them? Retreat if you know what's good for you! Easter! Are those rocks in skin? Here I come! I'm demanding for Go for the weak point! I'm ready! I'll heal you! Demons descend! Flashing back! Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? We should be able to cook here.
Rice, I think. Or wait, what if we used wheat and... No, potatoes! I, I can't decide! Are you seriously thinking about food again? No, I'm planning battle tactics. Tactics, huh? Eighty-seven! Eighty-eight! Eighty-nine! Oh, shoot! What the... Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight, Law. Right? Now you get it! Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a sec and I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Shion. Shion. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Seriously, it's making my eyes and throat burn. What the hell is going on? It's probably some sort of gas. Try not to breathe it in as much as you can manage. Gas? Those cowards! Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? I believe Alfin is. They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourselves and listen. I was simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Oh? Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices, just for that extra kick. Yeah, that'll help. I think I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it, too. <sighs> oh, crap. The spices burned. Well, uh, at least the meat's coming along nicely. All right, now I just flip it over, and then... Uh, uh... Uh, hey, Alfin? What, uh... What are you doing over there? Oh, Shion, perfect timing. I actually just finished roasting up a chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. I used a ton of spices, so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? If that's the taste he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather... delicate repast.
A perfectly invigorating morning. Uh, your hair is sticking up in the back. You don't do well in the mornings, do you? You can never be too prepared. But did we have to spend so much? I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. We got some good equipment! I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. We should think about eating soon. Really? Not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. Uh, yeah, good idea. Yes. That's unfortunate. Okay, off we go. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... 
May lightning condemn those who bear false. Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town, the way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. What do you all say to taking the path less trodden for once? Path? I don't see any path. Do you mean that thing that looks like an animal trail? Path may be a generous term. I'm assuming you know where it leads? Hmm. My gut says to a bridge. <laughs> Hoodle says your gut's wrong. Really? Well, it is definitely in the right general direction. Not that main roads are necessarily danger-free, but he does have an uncanny knack for insisting on some strange and unique routes. Alfin always did like a challenge. Can't say I appreciate some of the more daredevil ways he's taken us, though. Like the landslide he insisted was a shortcut before disappearing off the edge? Nearly gave me a heart attack. I'll say, yet the intrepid explorer looked as happy as a pig in muck. Probably best we stick to doing our own orienteering in the future. Hey, so what about this route then? Maybe if we pretend we can't hear him. Don't you think the path forward is fraught enough without making extra problems for ourselves? Maybe best to reel it back. Good point. I say we stick to the main track like regular travelers for once. Uh, guys? <sighs> I will break down this wall! <sighs> how well balanced this thing is. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here, then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do.
You can tell it's tough just looking at it. Yeah, it'd probably mess us up good. What is this? Here I 
This realm doesn't seem like such a bad place to camp in. Yeah, there's lots of plants and wildlife here. I know, and it all looks freaking delicious too! Who said anything about eating them? Uh, what? Hey guys, I don't see any of our food anywhere! What? I know! The bag we kept it all in has vanished! <sighs> Some Zoogles must have gotten in behind us and swiped the whole thing while we were fighting. What? Huh? What are you guys talking about? This affects you too, you know! We lost all our food, including all those sweets you love so freaking much! What? How could this happen? Those sweets are the highlight of my day! Oh, so hungry. Hunger is like that. The moment you know there's nothing you can do about it, it becomes that much more unbearable. Whoever did this, I swear I'm gonna make them pay for stealing our supplies. <sighs> All that's left now is this one lonesome apple. <gasps> Law? What? Hey, don't look at me like that. I picked this apple myself. I'm not just gonna... Food. Hand it over. <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> Hmm. Hey, I'm back. Uh, huh? What the heck happened here? <sighs> Only a pointed reminder of how dangerous a food shortage can be in a collective. A serious problem indeed. And one we should all be mindful of. I, I see. Does it have anything to do with why you're holding our food supply bag behind your back? This shall suffice. Please, everyone, have as much as you like. A warrior without breakfast is a flower without sunlight. I guess so. That's not a saying.
Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Looks like trouble with a capital T! Together, we've got this! Eat One more! I think no. I'll pass on the hand Don't even Exploit the enemy. Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Try this! Demon Fang! Sword Rain out! Here I come! Still not done! Up to you, sir! Healing that'll bring you down! Demon Fang! Sword Rain out! Here I come! Sword Rain out! Here I come! 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 Demanding form! Bloody hell! Explosive ring! You picked the wrong fight! Take this! Blue escape! I owe you one! I can carve through armor! Both sides! Annihilation! Here! Annihilation! A charge like that could easily be fatal! Just as well, I'm here to stop this! Try harder! Magic Here, this will help you. Thanks. Here I come. Here I come. Don't mind if I do. Here I come. There you go. Don't let us. Not today. Not my demon tags. Holy lance. Elusive deity. Explosive ring. Sorry, you no. Not out. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Is mind. there no end to them? We're making some progress. Keep up the pressure! That'll bring you down! This will come in handy! This can't get out of this! Eat this! Watch yourself! I sense incredible power! The mortal will ensure you survive this! and take them down! Is that a healing rock? It is. I can't ignore your pain. Not try to do more Okay, here I go. I don't know what I'd do without you. Perhaps now isn't the time? I really don't. Oh, no. 
Charge his unit. To stop the dying? Ah, Burn it down! The enemy is going all out! Take it! Make it into. I'm not done yet. I can carve through all. Now. My turn. Chill. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Yes. <sighs> what? What? <laughs> sure. Great. Do you? Do you think I'm even worthy to? Bureau agents, the Snake Eyes must be here. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! No! He's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and the Danon Witch. Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast Astral Arts. Renan's eyes light up when they use Astral Arts. I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore! Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! Move aside. I've heard enough! Shut your stupid mouth and die! So what do we do now? Count me in.